So we're going to start with the next section with the word problems, which are all consecutive numbers. Now, with this, you have to first we have to first talk about what, what a consecutive number is. So examples of consecutive numbers would be four, five, six, seven. It could be 102, 103, 104, anything that comes right after each other. Now, the way we do this is we start with whatever the first number is, and we call that first number x. Then the second one after that, because consecutive just means one more each time, the second number would be x plus 1, and a third would be x plus 2, because every time you're going up 1, up 2, up 3. But this doesn't have a third one in this case. We are only using those first two. And we're going to go ahead and also talk about this. Remember, the sum is 93. So all of this is equal to 93. So I take these first two numbers, the x, I am adding it together because we add when we say sum, plus the second one. So the equation that I have for this is x plus x plus 1 is equal to 93. Now to solve this, I have to first combine like terms and understand that both of those x's have an understood 1 in front of them. So that leaves me with 2x plus 1 is equal to 93. I subtract 1 from both sides. I'm left with 2x is equal to 92. Divide both sides by 2. And that tells me my first value, x, is equal to 46. Now, that's my first number. That means my second number is one more than that, so my second number is uh, 47. The answer boxes will this will ask you for the larger or smaller numbers and put them in uh, appropriately. All right, so we did this one, and we're going to do this one the same way. Because this time they are asking us for three consecutive numbers, I start off with the first value, which is x, the second, which is x plus 1, and then x plus 2 for my third number. They are telling me all of this has a sum equal to 762. So now I add up all of these. And because I have them all, I'm going to just do them vertically this time. Why not? So that's 1, 2, 3x's that I add together. So that gives me 3x plus 3 is equal to 762. If you don't like the vertical method, you can write it out like x plus x plus 1 times, whoops, plus x plus 2. Same thing when you combine your like terms. From here, you just solve the equation. I subtract 3 from both sides. And then I'm left with 3x is equal to 759. I divide both sides by 3. And that tells me my first value of x is 253. That's the first number of x. Then the second value of x is just one more than that. 254, and then the third is 255.